Good morning. As always, we're going to wait for some people to come in, wait for the notification to come up. I'm going to pull up information on my phone. And if you are watching the replay, you can skip ahead because you don't need to know all the stuff that I'm going to talk about in the beginning. So let's get started. As you come, oh, look, there's people here. <laughs> if you come in, let me know <clears throat> where you're from, what you're doing. Most of you I already know. But um, for those of you that are new, there's always some new people that join us every week. This is streaming on Facebook and on um, YouTube. So if you see me talking to somebody in the live chat and you don't see them there, it might be because they're on the other platform. All right. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. All right. So this is um, we have a few things that I want to talk about today. And I am going to change the title of this video because we are um, we are going to make this week our last week of the garden tour series. That's crazy, right? Um, oh, I just got the YouTube notification on my phone, so I'll probably mention that a couple of times again. Good morning, Farm Life Outfitters. Good morning, Heather, Marnie, Darla, Justin, Donna. Um, so we, um, I was taking a look this morning at the garden tour schedule, and there's not a whole lot of people that signed up for the garden tour in November and December, which is totally fine. Um, a lot of people are closing their gardens out this year and um, or have already done it because their weather is crazy. Like the weather is just crazy all over the country this year. So um, this is going to be our very last week in the garden tour series. Um, and it was also like uh, people just wouldn't post videos <laughs> because they were so busy. And I totally get that. So it's, it's kind of it's taken a little bit of a stressor off of our collaborators. Um, I did post about it in our collab group for those YouTubers that are like, wait, what? <laughs> so it's in our collab group this morning that we are part of. Um, OK, so but to finish out the garden tour series, um, this is part, this was part of the how to grow your own food series. And that was an extremely popular series that we did. And you can find that playlist on our, on our YouTube channel. And I think I put it in the description as well. Um, so it teaches you how to garden and homestead essentially. But so we're going to go over this last final week's collaborators. And then I do have a giveaway this week. I'm giving away, it's dirty. This is my personal copy that I've already started writing in. It's coming off. Um, I am giving away a Homestead Journal planner this week. So that's awesome. They are here. We're going to talk about that a little bit. And then I do want to direct you. There's a link to these in the description. I want to also direct you to this whopping five pound book from Polyface Farms. And I'm going to talk about this in a second, too. So I'm not giving away one of these. It's in fact, Joel has run out of books. So um, I'm not giving away one of these, but I am giving away one of these. OK, so let's get to the garden tour really quickly and then we'll go over these books. All right. Good morning to everybody coming in. All right. So this week we only have a couple collaborators. Um, we have Farm Life Outfitters who is in the chat with us today um, and you can find all of the links in the description. And you better listen up because they the links are part of the giveaway. So um, they are in North Carolina. They are amazing. Um, we have a farmer on the making who I'm pretty sure she has forgotten about her video this week. And I can say that because she's one of my closest friends. So, uh, but we have her and she does have some good videos on there. If you are gardening in the Pacific Northwest, she's there. Uh, and then Cog Hill Farm. I know he does have a garden video out. I don't know specifically if it's an HOA one, but he does have some recent garden ones. Um, so those are the three this week. So whether they have a video or not. Um, done this week. I know Farm Life Outfitters does because they're amazing. Um, you, it will be part of the giveaway. So this week, I'm going to talk about the Homestead Journal Planner, planner first. Um, in order to win this, we will announce a winner on Friday. That way I can go to the post office on Friday. Um, you have to watch each channel, their most recent video, come back and comment on our channel 
um, saying which one really inspired you, what you learned from it, um, you know, something, something like that. And for each video you watch, you can leave another comment. So every comment is an ex extra chance to win. If you share a video or multiple videos or you share our video, come back and comment that too because that's another extra chance to win. And so what are you winning? You're winning the Homestead Journal. It says the Homestead Journal. I did that specifically to get a trademark. Um, but it, it, next year it's going to say the Homestead Journal and then have planner underneath of it. So it's a very thick planner. It's not no dinky planner. And it has a spine on it. We did a spine. I can't really see it on it. That way you have the, the name of what it is and the year. That was really important to me as a homesteader because I can just set this on my shelf and I can see, oh, here's my journal from 2021 or 2006 or 2085. Um, and then they're, they're a very thick cardstock planner cover. Um, and then regular paper, almost like printer paper. So it's not a thin paper or anything. And so the thought behind this, I wanted, I wanted something um, that I could document our whole year in our whole lives, not just the garden, not just um, livestock, not just dates. Okay. Not just meal planning or something like that. Um, I wanted something to truly um, capture our entire life. So two thoughts behind that were number one, my grandfather, I would always, he would always have a notebook in his kitchen drawer, um, listing like cows, breeding dates, cow numbers, um, just things going on around the farm so that he could go back and look at them. They were always dated. That was the first thing. Um, and I find myself doing that too in like a notebook and then the notebook gets lost and it's like, well, I have no idea what I did two years ago. Um, the second thing was I really wanted to get into garden documentation, garden journaling, because we are going to be implementing a new garden at some point. Um, probably, you know, we're going to start a garden again. I need to document that so that I know what's doing well and what maybe what soil needs amended next year, things like that. The third thought behind it was my son was reading a book. Um, I think it's called The Diary of an Amer Early American Boy, I think is what it was called. And in there, it just inspired me because he documented his days. He Even if it was one sentence, one sentence, that boy documented his days. And it was so fun to go back and read what he had done or who he had seen or or, or whatever. And so those were my three thoughts behind it. Plus, I'm a busy mom and business owner who needed, you know, just the general monthly glance, weekly glance, things like that. Um, so it's got everything. And let's go over. I know we've talked about this before, but some of you are new with us. Um, I, I'm going to go over this in just a second. OK, let's let me hold off on this. I have not gone over the Polyface Designs book. That way, for those of you who just got stuff to do today, you can get out. Um, we'll come back to the planner in a second because we are doing the giveaway and that'll be a good time to remind you. Now this massive beast, the literally weighs the size of a newborn baby. I got this in the mail <laughs> this weekend. Joel had sent me a complimentary copy and, um, and yes, it, it is signed. And all of the books that he's sending out right now, I think through January 1st are going to be signed. Um, so this thing is crazy. And it is expensive, but, but look how thick it is. Okay. Think about how expensive it is to ship. Very expensive. And then look at the mastery in this book. I mean, it is just, it, it has everything you could ever need structure wise on your homestead. Now, um, there are some people that are like, well, Hey, is it, is it scalable? Yeah, it totally is scalable in this book, which is one of the reasons that Joel wanted to put this book together, um, with Chris and it says a comprehensive construction guide for scalable farming infrastructure. So the other thing that I love about this book is that in the beginning, number one, you can fold the cover back. Um, but in the beginning, it labels it's so heavy. It labels everything. It says chickens, cows, pigs. It has this color thing right here. And then if you flip it to the side, 
it has the colors here. So if you're like, hey, I need a structure for my pigs, I'm going to go right here to the pink one and I'm going to look at all the structures for my pigs, you know. And so this is a fabulous book. It's it it has cut sheets um, for see, there's a cut list in here. I mean, it's just incredible. So you can get these on the Home Centers of America website. I think I think our price is actually cheaper right now than anyone else. Don't quote me on that. But I think it is because I know Joel offered us a dis to offer a discount to you guys. So um, the forward was written by Justin Rose as well. So there is that. So this is a good book if you're if you are getting into home setting brand new. If you know that you're going to need to build infrastructure or if you're just wanting to revamp your homestead, this is it. it has the chicken tractors. Um, it has, you know, pig set up, has feed bin set up, has trailers. Show you how to build a trailer with axles and how to build, build the deck of a trailer. You know, um, it's, it's an incredible book. So I encourage you to check it out. It is expensive, you know, it, it's but it's a massive book and it literally is just full of step by step, intimately drawn out very well with cut sheets and information uh, for your homestead. So whether you're a little homesteader or a big hobby farmer or a career farmer, that's a really great book for you to get. So link is in the description to the journal, which will also lead you to the Polyface Designs book. Now, let's get back to the journal. So I want to walk through this with you step by step because it is here. I am shipping it out if you want it. If you don't want to wait for the giveaway, I only have I only have about 40 copies left um, before we have to do a second print run. And if we do a second print run, um, I am, oh, what is this? Um, I'm going to have to do a second shipping, which is going to take a little while because it takes about two weeks for me to get these. And it's going to take me about, hmm, you know, once I get them two, two or three days to get them shipped out. So um, just know that the second print run will be into December before you get it, probably. All right, so let's go through the book. So you're going to open it up. Here's this handy dandy cover. It has these. I don't want you to see my. Oh, you can see my address. It's my PO box. It has quotes in it. Um, and then the first pages are your goals and projects. Okay. <laughs> I never know where I am. This is a really handy sheet because. Um, it helps you plan for the new year. So it has your goals set up. Um, I should, I should have brought up the PDF to show you instead of holding the book, but I don't have time to do that now. And then each goal, it has like goal number one, and then it has a budget. And then you set your goal date. Who's in charge of it? Are you in charge of it? Are you doing that project with somebody else? And then you have to do steps. Um, because we need steps to, to accomplish big goals, right? So you put what your steps are, you know, let's say, um, make a new uh, structure for next year's sheep, right? Um, so your first goal is January 1st, you lay out the structure. The second goal is, you know, whatever. And so you can go through and kind of budget and show to-do lists and things like that. Next is important notes from 2020 on this page. Uh, 2021 dates to remember. So birthdays, anniversaries, I've already started filling in mine. Um, big things that are happening, conferences, you know, things like that. Um, next is seasonal to do. Oh, my computer screen messes me up right here. Winter, spring, summer, fall website login, which I will definitely be utilizing because I always forget mine. And then important contact information. Let me just say that if you ever were to go, um, on vacation or there be emergency, an emergency, and somebody has to take care of your kids or your farm or your business, this, this is all you have to leave with them. You can even just make a copy of it if you don't want to leave your whole planner. So this is really important. It's really important as we get into the other stuff too, like livestock records. If your farm sitter needs to know about your livestock, uh, the next page is just a Henry David Thoreau quote and um, a header. So then we get into our, our financials. Um, we have a monthly financial overview for each month. It's, I, I like to keep track of my income um, so that I can budget properly. So we have your total 
your total income, your household expenses, feed expenses, garden expenses, two, two spaces for other expenses. And then you're going to write down, you're going to subtract your expenses from your income so that you can see exactly what is happening in your home and on your homestead at a monthly glance. Um, we have the rest of the monthly over here. Now, this is a printable. Um, in the back, we actually show you how to do everything or most things. Um, here, this is actually a printable, a daily rhythm printable. So if you want to scan it and just print it out every week you're, or every day, you're more than welcome to for habits. You know, like you can print this out for your kids, brush your teeth, make your bed, clean the bathroom. Um, for you, it could be drink eight ounces of water. It is for the whole week, actually, not just um, the day. Um, drink water, have 30 minutes of quiet time. All right, then we get into our monthly calendars, and this is the same for pretty much the whole year. Um, we have our month at a, a glance. Over here, we have projects and to-do for that month. We can revert back to the pages of projects if some of those are in there. And we have a note section for the month. We also put in moons. If you like to plant uh, and garden by moons, we put in, um, you know, reserved, general reserved American holidays, uh, like U.S. federal holiday, Martin Luther King Jr. Day. Um, and then, you know, so I know I understand that not everybody celebrates holidays, but we did put them in there just because it's a generically done thing. Um, then for each month before we get into the week at a glance, um, we have the January financial records. You have this oh, girls and boys. I needed this bills to pay list all your bills that you need to pay, because how many of us might forget? like that extra bill we had, um, put how much it costs when it's due and you have a checkbox when you, when you finish paying it. Um, and then we have expenses. So if you have farm expenses, you can write them here, description, category, date, amount to keep track of that. Again, to go back to your monthly financial records in the beginning, a lot of this stuff reverts back to each other. Here's another, uh, goals and habit tracker. You can do this every day, every week, whatever it is, you put your intention here, and then you check off each day of the month that you do it. Um, or you can just leave it in the book and just do it that way. And then um, we get into our weeks. Okay. So here's what a week looks like. It goes Sunday through Saturday. You have all these boxes for each day to write in. And then over here we have um, a weekly meal plan. So it's all on one spread. And then we actually have a box for the weather. So it's we, we are kind of trying to encourage you to keep track of all the things. So write down the weather for each day because your book, your journal, and I want to reference it as that your planner journal is going to um, become your own personal almanac. Okay. Uh, your own personal historic record of how that year was. And then in the future, if you're like, Hey, this, this year reminds me of five years ago, you can pull this planner out and you can go through and look at the weather, see how the weather was. You can see what you planted that week or that month, what you harvested and what did good and what didn't. So it's all kind of interconnecting. And I hope that you guys can kind of see that. Uh, we go through every week so of the month. Um, and then once we get to the end of the month, we have um, an egg tally sheet. So you'll use this daily. It has the days. You just write down um, how many eggs you got. You have a harvest production record. So whatever you harvested that week, pounds um, or quantity, you can put that in there. You have a monthly pantry inventory. This isn't like, um, this is more to keep track of products you added or products that you need to add. So it says product addition and reduction. Not necessarily, sorry, I've got like a something going off my nose. It itches really bad. Not necessarily a full pantry inventory, but stuff that you're adding or taking away and, and you know, how much you have and surplus and whatnot. And then a monthly freezer inventory, same concept on that, what you added, what you took away. And then we go into the next month. So every month looks like that. Um, so I'm going to go past all the months to get to the other stuff. So it's very consistent with the months throughout the book. And then we get to the end. So after all of that, we go through a year at a glance. So we're going to the following year, which is 2022. These are things that you need to write down that are important that you can write down throughout the year for the following year. Maybe like things you need to do or important dates. Um, we get into homestead production and expense records. 
which go into your true, real, hardcore homesteading stuff. So we have a garden expense production. This is for next year. Uh, a garden production um, sheet. So product and yield. Poultry expenses and poultry production. This is a great way to keep track of how much meat you're raising, you know, and um, for chip, for poultry. Um, home dairy expenses and production. Livestock expenses and production. Uh, we have a beekeeping expenses and production and a just a general overall farm expenses and production. This is truly a great way to keep track of if you're making money or losing money on your homestead. Uh, then we get into livestock health records. Um, these are where this is where you keep track of medical records and breeding records. We only have a couple of these sheets in here, but you can absolutely make copies of these. In fact, I would encourage you to at least make one copy to keep on hand and kind of stuff it in here as you need it in case you need more records. Um, there are four sections on each page, which means you can fit four animals on each page. Then we go into our garden planning for the year. We have this awesome graph paper. Somebody actually watched my last live stream on this and I meant to email her and I'm not sure if I emailed her back. She actually said um, the graph paper was too dark on our previous um, draft that we had compiled and she was absolutely right. Um, and so we made it the graph paper a little bit lighter so that it was easier for you guys to use. Um, Sherry is asking where can I get one of these? There's a link in the description or you can just go to homesteadersofamerica.com and click on the shop. So here's where you can do your garden layout, multiple gardens or just one garden. Um, there is just a blank sheet for a garden layout if you don't want to use the graph paper or if you have a third garden section. Um, we have a seed inventory so you can keep track of your seeds. Um, and I would do that now so you can order new ones if you need to. We have a seed sowing schedule. Um, so we do have the weekly um, schedule. Uh, where is it? So we have here on each week what to plant or harvest. Um, but we really recommend making a seed sowing schedule so that you have this master schedule to go off of um, you, so you can plan your weeks. Preservation inventory. So if you're canning, you can keep track of your produce by pounds or um, if you have a surplus from the previous year. Uh, we even have these canning label printables. So you can see those. Um, you can just print them. You can make a copy and print them out and then you just put it on the lid of your can uh, if you want to do it that way. We also have these handy home canning cheat sheets um, and it truly goes through most of the stuff you're ever going to can. Um, and so it goes through pressure canning, meat, uh, jelly jam, stuff like that. Sorry, hear my children upstairs. Um, then we go through curing records, herbal inventory. Ooh, it's overwhelming, right? But we have a lot of things that we are doing on the homestead. All right, then we get to my favorite part, which is the daily journal entries. So there are literally enough journal pages. See, this is what they look like to document your whole year. You don't have to use a page per day. You can use half a page per day and just write um, a little bit. But I would encourage you to use this as a way to not only keep track of your homestead, but to keep track of your family as well. If you have a family, if you have kids at home, um, write down, hey, today was Everett's birthday and we did this and um, it was his first time collecting eggs or, or whatever. Um, this will be truly a, a masterpiece for your family, for your kids and for your grandkids to look back on. And what a fun way for them to see your life um, as they, they grow up. And then in the back, we have a how to use this homestead planner. And we just have some of the most confusing pages in here. Um, and it kind of shows you how to do it. So this is it. <laughs> We've worked, we've been actually working on this planner since the beginning of this year. Um, the end of last year, I was looking for a planner. There are some farm planners out there. They just were not what I wanted at all. I mean, this is a pretty big planner. Um, this does sit flat. So that there is that. Um, the only word of caution I will give you is that the front and back cover is cardstock. It's not like a wipeable cover. 
Um, but in order to do that, you would have to do a spiral bound. And we really wanted to keep that spine on here so that because this is truly a reference piece, it's not just a planner that you use and then you throw it away every year. Um, and which is also why it's dated. All of our planners will be dated so you can reference back to them every single year um, if you need to. So just keep that in mind. It could get dirty. It could get dingy. But you know what? That's real life on a farm and homestead, I think. At least it is in my house. So, all right. To win one of these, I am going to hold back one copy for a lucky winner. You have to do what I told you to do a few minutes ago. Check out the collaborators of the garden series in the description of this video. Go watch videos. Come back. Comment. Tell me what you learned, what you loved. Uh, if you share their video or you share this video, come back and comment again. It gets you some extra entries. And that's it. I will pick a winner on Friday so that I can get this mailed out to you. Again, we only have about 40 copies left, and that could actually be less than that because I haven't looked at it this morning. Um, I know I saw some stuff coming out of the the shelves last night with our inventory. Um, Andy, you do so need this. <laughs> um, and this is something we plan on doing every year. And it'll probably look very much the same every year because the mindset is that, um, you want something consistent that you know how to use, that you can navigate. Now, we do have a lot of people asking about a printable version of it. We do not have this version as a printable, but we do have the 2021 Homestead Management printables coming out, um, which you can buy online, and those are only $7, but we don't have those out yet. Um, they, they include a lot of... The cure, not the curing records, but like livestock records and just the monthly and weekly stuff. Um, but they don't, they don't, I don't have, they don't have nearly as much as this does. Yes, Carol, it is available for, for purchase. You can go to homesteadersofamerica.com uh, or the link is in the description of this video if you would like to purchase it. Um, right now it is $55 and that's on discount. Um, it will go back up to $65 the 1st of January. Um, so let me try to, if I grab the link for you guys, you can, um, just do it in here. Let's see. All right. You should be able to click on the link that I just, um, posted in the comments. If you can't click on it, then you can just copy it, um, highlight it and, and go. Um, if you were to go to our website and just type in planner, you can also see it there. So, all right, guys, I feel like I've been talking for forever. My goodness. Um, I'm trying to think of any other thing, other things that we might need to talk about. Just a reminder, this is the last week of the garden tour series. For those of you that are coming in late, um, are the printables going to, yeah. So, oh, Amy, that's a good point. So Amy Jackson says, are the printables, the printables I just talked about, the homestead management planner going to be available to the VIP HOA membership? Yes. So if you are a VIP member, you actually get those, um, the homestead management printables I was talking about for free as part of your membership. Um, so there are also business management printables in there and there are eBooks and there is over like 700 hours worth of educational videos for you to watch. Um, you can go back and watch each year's conference and things like that. Our, our VIP membership is growing very, very quickly. I think people are just now catching on that. <laughs> it's a lot of information for like, and it only comes out to like five or $6 a month or something like that. Um, but you just pay for it all in advance. Um, so yes, they will be part of the VIP HOA membership, um, but they're not up yet. We are working on them uh, so that we can get those up to you guys. Um, anything else? Oh, a lot of people are asking about next year's conference. Yes, the plan right now is to have next year's conference, October 8th and 9th, which is a Friday and Saturday. Come heck or high water, <laughs> um, unless we really feel like you're in severe danger with a hurricane or something, which isn't completely impossible. Um, so definitely mark your calendars for that. I'm already, I've already gotten started on planning it. I, um, I've been in touch with a, a few new speakers, um, potential new speakers for this year. And I, I think you guys are really going to like them. Um, and we are just expanding a, a, a lot and we have a few things that might be coming up. Um, but I can't tell you about it cause you're just going to have to wait and see. So, 
Um, and then what else? We are getting these planners out. So if you ordered a planner, you should have one in your inbox, uh, your mailbox, not your inbox. In the next week, um, I'm taking about 75 of them to the post office today. Um, if you were in the first round of orders, there were about 150 people uh, that ordered in the first round. Um, you'll get it in the next week. But that's not everybody because I have about another hundred and something that I need to package up. Um, so those will come out in the next couple weeks. And I'm just trying really hard to get them to you. Um, is there anything else? Oh, don't forget to get the Polyface book. It will be on our website until January 1st, so December 31st. Massive book, all around amazing. You need it in your life completely. Um, and I think that's it. I think that's it. I'm talked out. I'm tired. <laughs> and I need to go clean my house. So, all right, guys. Thank you for joining me. As always, don't forget to enter that giveaway below, even if you're watching the replay until Friday morning. Um, and I, I will probably not see you next week unless I have something really interesting to tell you. Um, I am just going to take a break for the next few weeks. And, you know, with the holidays coming up, I've got about 10 million other things that need to get done. Um, and I am also working on that herb course that I've mentioned before um, for my personal website. So that is something I will be working on for the rest of the year. So I will be back at some point. And um, until then, follow us online on Instagram and Facebook and here on YouTube. I'm going to try to get some videos out, normal videos out here. And I will see you soon. Happy homesteading.